It's our action that speaks the loudest. Though we the sweet scientists, they ain't nothing nice. sweet about us. We're all the way here from Brooklyn, New York, in Providence, Rhode Island. Barack, what are we about to do right now? We're about now? to do behind the scenes, the life and times of a promoter. And we're going to do it with Eddie Hearn. What's up, brother? <coughs> this morning, we found out that our show on July 6th, the main event, the B-side, busted his arm. And when it, this kind of thing first happened, it was like a natural disaster. You know, it was right. like some, <laughs> some, the world was ending. You know, we yeah. started looking at the money about, like, where can we move the show to? Then you've got eight or nine guys on the card who all want to get out. They don't care if you've lost some money because you paid for some hotels. They want to know, when's my new date? So you don't really sleep much. <laughs> Not really, no, no. I try, I try, but uh, this morning I forgot my beard trimmer. Mm -hmm. right? right? So, and Frank's hair, you know, he's had it all off, right? Yeah, yeah. But he likes it nice and short. So I said, let me go to CVS over there and buy myself a beard trimmer because it's getting too long now. Right. So I went over there and he said to me, do you mind doing my hair? Like <laughs> shaving my head while, while you got it. So anyway, I thought it had enough battery in it. But I did half of his head and the battery's gone <laughs> and we didn't have a charger. So he's currently somewhere around Providence trying, trying to, to get a barber. Pay. He's got like lines down his head, like <laughs> hair coming out everywhere. So yeah, can I get a caramel macchiato, please? Since you've been in America, what's one of the things that you think you learned as a promoter? I was never going to do anything different than just dive straight in feet first oh, and tell everyone I was going to blow up the game. Right. Like, I'm a promoter. Right. Like, look at Don King. I don't agree with everything that Don King ever done. Yes. Certainly not. Yeah. But one thing he was, he was an amazing promoter. Yes, absolutely. Amazing. Agreed. When Agreed. you talk, you listen. Some people right? compare you to him. No, well, in some ways, hopefully. <laughs> in some not ways, not in every yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can post stuff like, uh, I, I wish for world peace. And yeah, people no, talk no. about, oh, but that Joshua. You don't really. <laughs> you don't really. You're just a comment. Heading to the weigh-in. Demetrius Andre versus Maciej Sulowski. They're the fights I love because we're all in. I've called it all or nothing, right? right? Because that's what it is. Yes. So you go in with a world championship belt, you either come out unified yes. or you come out with nothing. I think, I think that's something that our fans need to know is that promoters are not always making money. What's the most money you've ever lost on a show? Danny Jacobs against Sergei Derevchenko. It was the last fight of the HBO contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the IBF mandated that fight. And I wanted to deliver for Danny Jacobs. And I was like, we've got to pay up. You know, we've got to pay up for this fight. We've got to deliver for Danny Jacobs. And I knew that if we could get that fight, right. I could get him the Canelo, Canelo fight. fight. With his so it made sense. So it was like, yeah, but it was, it was an investment. It, it, you know, right. there's always risk as promoters because you're the one putting the money up. Yes. You know, some people, whether it's a governing body, you know, whether it's a, an advisor or a manager, they don't have any risk. Stepping out for the zone limo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's the scariest woman in boxing. She is so You gotta make sure she's happy. When she's happy, Hi, we're Tammy. good. How you doing, young lady? Yeah. When Tammy's happy, everybody's the calm, happy. The calm before the storm. <laughs> now, I said that you are officially the scariest lady in boxing. She is. Oh, boy. She's Ka the sweetest. Cappy Doover, Doover ain't got shit on you. No, 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 no. You know AJ better than we do, yeah. but we've been around him. When they were announcing his name, yeah. the way he was chewing on a mouth, oh, no, it was, was a little strange, wasn't it? Probably looking back, like, if he would have won, I don't think anyone would have remembered. Right? I would have still said it. Yeah, but when, when he boxed Povetkin, when he boxed Klitschko, yeah. normally, right, he, came, he comes out and he's in the ring and he's like... But in the ring, I remember he said, I said, my, neck, my neck's a bit stiff. Went back, started getting a massage, right? Which is not actually a, right. a great thing to do. No, it's a, not. But you see his eyes, like, going, like, snapping. Going, his eyes were rolling. But right. when you get your neck massage, you do, you sort of go like that, right? Yeah. People say, oh, he had a panic attack. He was so calm. You can mingle around if you want to say yeah, what's yeah, up okay, to your okay. people here. Let's just follow you around. I just heard from the commission there's a delay. It's going to be another two hours. You can't be. No, two hours. You OK? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make super bantam, yeah? I can, whenever you well, need. you can't, because you're moaning about the time. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, what's How up, doing? man? What's going on, man? How's everything? Go down and fight Charlie for his WBC title. I'll check it out. Right. Nice to meet you. Nice How are you, mate? Good to see you, right? Yeah, yeah. Frank just texted me saying I'm still trying to sort my hair out. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Not a beautiful spot. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful place. It's broke. Yeah? The clip is broke. Hey, what is that, man? It's a Harry Krishna. 
First of all, I didn't know you was a young kid, first of all. Still. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And no, wait, wait, I didn't know that you came from 15, 15 years 15, old. Well, much respect, man. Much yes. respect, man. Yeah. Much yeah. respect. Yeah. Yeah. Much respect. Yeah. He's from Samoa, but he's also from Logan City, Queens in Australia. Lionheart Leopard. And his opponent, also Samoan, Joseph Lupe Soliai La Aule Ale Male Atoa Parker. Australia versus New Zealand. Samoa v Samoa. Samoa v Samoa. Wow. The guy in the red hat first, please. Face to face, please. Let's bring the fighters up here for the main event of the evening. It's the WBO Middleweight Championship of the World. 159.5. Matreya Strichu Solowski. Boo Boo. Demetrius Andre. Bring the belt in it. Bring the belt in it. So they're going to red first, please. Here they are, challenger and champion. It's hot out here. So being dehydrated is one thing, but when this heat hits you. Freezing. Mm. So I spoke to Mark Oskin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cut it. Look, look at it. Turn around. Look at the fucking Hey, how are you, mate? You're right. Good. Yo, so if you need a barber, you know, we, we yeah, got you next time, right? But you got to world heavyweight champion without taking it seriously, right. so you done well. Shows you what you can achieve. Yeah. We just wanted to sign you just when we knew you were going to take it seriously. So yeah, we'll be right. When you and Boxed AJ, you both really did the same thing. Yeah, you both yeah, was, was smart, but now it would be a war, you two, because it would just, you know, it would. You're unique in that you're the only guy who's gone 12 with AJ and the only guy who's beat Andy Reese. Exactly. Yeah, so we just got out of 110 degree weather at the weigh-in, it's done. It's in the eating, uh, at the oyster bar here, even though Eddie doesn't like oysters, so no. we're, not, we're not gonna order. I like seafood. Though. The issue is, is you know that oysters aphrodisiac, make, and I don't want you to start rubbing them in there <laughs> under the table. You know, this is dangerous. What don't we know about Eddie? Like, what is it? What I secrets? I think everyone have? knows everything about him. He likes to talk about He talks no, about everything. He's so free. You know, part of the, the love that fans have for the sport is not just for the boxing. It's for all the politics and the stuff that drives them crazy around it. Right. It's like a soap opera. Boxing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It is, it and is. people love to talk about it, bitch about it, moan about it, but they still love hearing and talking and, and interacting. The best part of your shows are really when you're sitting down with people and you get into a stage where it's almost like you're just talking boxing. Just having friends, a conversation. You know? Like when we watch it back, we can tell when we forgot that we were even yeah, exactly. filming. Yeah. Now yeah. we're joking. But that's your best content. Yeah. You know, that's, that's yeah. always yeah. Been the best yeah. content. You feel like uh, you learn a lot from Eddie. Obviously, he, he got you since you was a young puppy, as they say. I think I've 16. taught him a lot. <laughs> He's been lucky. Not about haircuts. <laughs> He's not. He hasn't got a future career if boxing doesn't work. He's not going into the barber business. He's like you, peacock. You feel yeah. like you succeeded, like with what you set out to do in the U.S. Uh, no, early days. I mean, look, right. we, we did our first show in October right. last year, so we're nine months in. But what we've done in that time is incredible, really. I mean, yeah, like, absolutely. it's a war of attrition, right. you know? That's what boxing is, because right. you look at some of the great promoters over the years, even Don King still going, Bob Aaron, he's 87 or 88 years old, and he's still going. He's still it's sharp. like, Bob, still sharp. will you retire? Go away. <laughs> it's like, no, I won't let you win. Like, you have to really have no ego in boxing. You have to have the ability to, and, and I think so many fights don't get made because people take things too personally. Emotions. You've got to have a clear mind and go, OK, like, I don't like that guy, or he, he said that about me, but let me just look at this. This is business here. Is this the right thing for my career? Should I be doing this? Yes. But too many times, it's like, I don't like him. I don't like him. It's too like, personal. What's that right. got to do with it? Nothing. Yeah, all this network stuff and politics in sport, I sometimes say to fans, really straightforward. We work for broadcasters, right? So do you. Our job is to give them the best talent and the best fights. We gave you a sneak peek of the life of Eddie Hearn before and after the win, but we can't give you any more. There's some secrets in there that might make him lose his job. Yeah, so we'll just give you a little sneak peeks. So that's it. Eddie Hearn, Akin Barat, Frank Smith, Sweet Scientist, only on the zone. <laughs>